because we elevating over here. <laughs> During Black Pride Month! y'all right, so here's a quick work day with me um so i'm not going to essence this year but i'm actually getting the essence check praise the lord thank you god ain't god good amen um so i'm in here shooting a video for ford uh they have a special campaign that they're going to be showing throughout essence so if any of you guys are going to essence um you know let me know Drop down in the comments. Let me know if you do see my images anywhere. Uh, it should be in the Ford Lounge. Um, oh, hey, Cherie. Cherie actually got me this gig. We've known each other for four years. We both worked on a show for Will Packer. Um, so we've been friends ever since. And Steve, who's actually shooting this, was also on the show with us, too. He worked the show. So anytime they get any gigs, they always plug me in. So shout out to them for that. Uh, and again, I'll be getting the essence check without actually being there. Don't we, don't we love, don't we love when we ain't gotta be there, but we still getting a check? Praise the Lord during Caribbean Heritage Month, during Black Pride Month. Yes, God, we love it. And this is just a little shot from what we did. Isn't this so cute? I can't wait to see the final video. All right, so I'm back home from my Ford shoot. So um, the shoot that I did with Ford, it's gonna be at um, Essence, but as of now, I don't have any plans to go to Essence. <sighs> um, and to be honest, I don't mind like getting an Essence coin and not being at Essence, I don't mind that, but I do feel like, damn, I should have been at Essence. Like, but I don't know. Um, this year's rollout was a little, like as a as an onlooker, it was a little weird to me. It just seemed like a lot of stuff were coming out very last minute, and I think like it's their first it's their first year back, you know, after the pandemic. So I can conclude like yeah, it's a lot of things were <laughs> a lot of things were being done like okay, very last minute, um, which I totally understand. Like especially given like the state of everything right now. But anyway, so as I was um, at the Ford shoot, I was going live on Instagram and I, I, I left the live on my Instagram, but um, somebody um, had asked me a question, you know, as I was doing my makeup, somebody was in the live, oh, you're here doing your own makeup, but you wanted that Haitian band to pay for that. And, you know, my response was, months later, y'all are still in my comments crying about that, like, why y'all in my comments still crying about this? Like, go support them niggas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, go check out the video. Ooh, you can't, <laughs> delete it. Shout out to my lawyers. Um, but, cause you know, like, like I was saying in my lab, I was like, you know, in Haiti, y'all can infringe on people's rights. You know, Haiti's very lawless. Like, you can do whatever you want, but in America, happy to be in America, in America, People have rights, and when you infringe on those rights, there are consequences for those rights. And I'm really happy that I'm one of those people who knows my rights. Um, and I will never stop speaking up about somebody infringing on my rights, somebody stealing from me. I will never stop speaking up for that. I don't care what people think about that. Like I will never, ever, 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 ever stop doing that. Um, and to be honest, I think like just given given where I'm at now, like things like that are rarely going to, like if that happens to me now, like you really have to go out of your way, which they did. They did go out of their way to steal from me. But now like you would, you would really be a doofus, which they were too. So anyway, I just know who to work with and I know who not to fuck with. So that's that. So I don't see anything happening that's like, like happening to me like that again. But you know, as I was, Driving, I was in the Uber ride home. I was thinking about a conversation I had while I was there working um, on the Ford stuff that I'm working on. So I got the job through one of my friends, Sheree Nicole, who she was a producer on a show that I did four years ago with Will Packer called Power Star Live. I had a Twitter show with 
Will Packer. She was a producer on there. We always kept in contact, always kept in touch. And whenever like there's work that she feels like I'll be great at, she'll she sends it to me. And one thing that she said yesterday, she's like, I just love working with Jesse. She's just so easygoing. Like it's really not a lot of stress. It's just like just make sure everything is timely, make sure everything makes sense. Like and she'll you know she'll she'll make it work. And I was telling her about like this past weekend with Issa Rae and you know, I was saying to her, I said, you know, there's a reason why Issa is Issa. Cause we were talking about how us, like how she gets work and I get work or she'll, she'll get work and she'll contact me like, Hey, you want to do this? Whatever. And she's like, yeah. Cause I feel like, you know, keep it in the family. Like you, you know, this person is good at what they do. Like, why not keep it in the family? And I was telling her, I was like, you know what makes Issa Rae Issa Rae to me? As we were doing the panel in Miami, if you were at that panel, drop a comment and let me know. But, you know, for rap shit, the upcoming show, Sarita Johnson, who is the showrunner for that show, used to be a writer on Insecure. The co-lead for that show, uh, Aida Uzman, she was in the writer's room for rap shit. And so what that tells me is that Issa is intentional about not only treating her people right, but also creating a space for them to move up. That's why Issa's Issa. And that's why there are certain people who all they can do is stay where they're at because they don't have the intention of, this is not just about me, yeah, I'm moving up, but let me make sure that people who who are with me move up too. Let me treat my people well. I got that, y'all saw in my last vlog, I got that job the day before. At my entire experience was first class. First class tickets, first class type of type of room, first class budget for me to eat, first class, you know, treatment. Like everything was first class and that's the intent that she has and that trickles down from her to everybody who works with her and so why do i want to mention that i want to go back to the person who said that was in my live who was saying oh you're doing your makeup but you didn't want them to you didn't, you wanted them to pay for it first of all you know this job that i just did with ford it was a very good check that's all i'll say it was a very good check I got that job last minute too, so I couldn't go hire someone. Thank God I can do my makeup. But it was a very good check, which actually cancels out me having to even pay. Like, I didn't even mind not having to hire somebody because the check was so nice. It was kind of like they paid me to do my own makeup and my hair, my own hair, which is fine. Um, but it's like, you know, one or the other, you know what I mean? And the check was really good. But number two, you know, why would you be in my live? Because I, I, that this person said this, but I saw a lot of people online saying this. Why would you not want to hire a makeup artists, hire a hairstylist, hire a wardrobe person for a person that you're collabing with so that that person could put their best foot forward? Like, it's all about self it's all about it's all about self for those people for those kind of type of people i like i don't want to pay for this i don't want to pay for like i want to get everything for free we don't want to pay for nothing right and it's like then when you look at those type of people who are not like isa who don't want to spend who don't want to treat people right that they collab with then you look at where they are and it's like oh, okay that's why you are where you are and you have been there for the last 15 years. You're going to be doing the same thing. You've been doing the same thing for the last 15, 20 years. And, and, and 20 years from now, you'll still be doing the same thing. Next year, still be doing the same thing. Just a couple of years, you're still going to be doing the same thing. Because you have not tapped into good intentions. You have not tapped into, let me do good by the people that work with me. So that we can all elevate. And here's the thing. Had I been, had I been treated right, like, do you know how many doors I already had waiting for that project? Thank God I did not open those doors. Thank God I did not like walk through those doors with those people. Thank God. 
and I can save that for myself or for somebody that is deserving of me and that person working together. But it's like, some people really want all the glory and that's why they never get it. You see people like Issa, they get the glory because that, they're not chasing after the glory. But some people want all the glory. They want all the credit. They want all the money. They want all the benefits. And they'll work with you and they don't want you to be able to make money off of your own work. They want all the glory and they'll never get it. They'll never get it. Because they haven't tapped into, that's not it. That's not how life works when you really want to get to a certain place. That's why Issa Rae's Issa Rae. That's why Oprah's Oprah. You know what I mean? That's why Tyler Perry's Tyler Perry. Say what you want. But anybody who's friends with Tyler Perry, I mean, goddamn, we had the princess and the prince talk about how when they was fleeing from um, Queen Lizzie, they went to stay with Tyler Perry. That generous heart, when you are, gen when you are genuine and generous, when you are genuine about not just winning for yourself, but winning with other people, God blesses that. God blesses that. God honors that. But when you are somebody who is constantly just looking out for yourself, constantly, like literally like scamming people, stealing from people just so you could be at the top. What happens? And here's the thing, too. There's some people out here who look like they have glory, but they ain't got it. They look like it. But baby, when they close them doors, when they when they get home and they have to close that door, the unrest, the unsettlement, the lack of peace, the lack of happiness. It's there. You don't got the glory. You don't got the glory. You might look like it, but you don't got it. And um, that's why there are certain people who, are, who will always be blessed because they're not chasing. Oh, it's just all about me. It's all about me. And Issa said that on the panel. She's like, no, like, I want people to genuinely, genuinely do well. And it's hard to find people like that, especially in this industry. It is very, very hard to find people who will genuinely look out for you and say, hey, here's this opportunity. My, my boss, Tanya Hoffler, and I still call her my boss, even though she's not my boss anymore. But when I started working at BT back in 2017, she's the reason why I got that job and she became my, my boss at BT Breaks. Till this day, this woman, every every couple months, hey, you wanna do this, you wanna do that? I got this at TV One, I got this at Madame Noir, I got this at... She ain't gotta do that. But because we worked so well together and from day one, she told me something from day one. I remember when I was working at BET Breaks, and I don't even think I've ever said this publicly. I think I've probably, but I don't remember. I was only getting paid like $200 for that. And at that time that was my only job and I wasn't getting that gig every single day of the week. So I'll let you figure out how much money I was making. And there was no budget for makeup, makeup, hair, wardrobe. It was no budget for that. So I came in every day. I did my own makeup. I did my own hair. And and there would be people that would come in like, where the makeup at? Where the, you know what I mean? Like, and hey, I don't fault them, but it was really understood that there was not no budget for that. And I remember her telling me one day, she was like, Jess, you are a unicorn. Like, you really come in here, you don't complain, you just do your hair, you do your makeup, you know how to read the prompter, you know how to do these stories, and we never have we never have to worry about you. And that's literally been my experience every time I go somewhere and I work. And that's why God has blessed me the way God has. And I cannot wait to be able to pay that forward to other people, to other girls, especially like Caribbean girls like me, not just Haitian girls, like, but especially Haitian girls, but not just Haitian girls, like Caribbean girls, African girls, like immigrant girls, like, because it's tough. This shit is like, it's tough. And so I could not imagine being in a certain certain place where I wouldn't want to pay that forward and make sure that people that I work with are not treated with dignity and respect. That's why Oprah's Oprah. That's why Issa is Issa. That's why Shonda Rhimes is Shonda Rhimes. That's why Ava DuVernay is Ava DuVernay. 
These people have tapped into that. Intentions. Intentions. That's why Tyler Perry is Tyler Perry. That's why Will Packer is Will Packer. Intentions. Good intentions. Not to harm other people. Not to step on other people. Not to steal people's work. But to do good work and to elevate others. Intentions. In tensions. That's my gun. That's gonna be my intention moving forward. As I get ready to do my pilots, I get ready to do the things that I'm gonna do next. That's gonna be my intention is to elevate other people. Do good work, elevate other people. Just a couple thoughts, child. So anyway, let me eat the rest of I got this sweet chili uh salad. Um I don't know where child, but it tastes damn good. I'm gonna finish this. I got emails to answer, child. You know what I mean? Deals to close. <laughs> this is my year. And we're, we're not even halfway there yet. But I'm really, really excited. Like, I feel like by the end of this year, I'm going to be in a whole different place than where I am today. And I'm really, really excited for that. So stay tuned because we're elevating over here. <laughs> During Black Pride Month. During cancer season, it's officially cancer season. Ah! What am I doing for my birthday? Oh, I'm going to an island. If you're a cancer, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are doing for your birthday. Um, like, share, subscribe, and I'll chat with you guys later.